Hi, I'm Daryl Webster from Modern Workplace Scenarios. In this video, we're gonna take a look at a transcription feature within Microsoft Word Online. This is gonna be quite helpful when you have recorded an interview and you're wanting to bring some text into a document and use it, perhaps capturing quotes or uh, different content that has been talked about. Let's uh, take a look at it now. We'll go to office.com and I'm using an Office 365 account and I'm going to create a new Word Online document. Now we have had a, a dictation feature for a while. Let's just briefly have a look at that, just so we can compare the two. I can dictate directly into this document and my words are being changed into text, full stop. Now that's a useful feature, it means that I can quickly create a document build it up and start to format it and not have to worry too much about typing things. I can adjust that later. So that's a great feature and it means it's using my microphone, turning it into text. Now what we also have is a transcribe option. We can either start recording directly into the document and transcribing or we can upload some audio from a interview or a, a recording that we've made. Now, I uh, can sometimes make recordings and interviews with a, a recorder like this, or um, I sometimes use the, the Rode Reporter app. Um, so that's a great one that's free and available from the App Store. Right, so let's just start a recording and see how the transcription feature works. Now in this case, I am transcribing what, I, what I'm saying. I'm speaking out some words and these will be transcribed and give me an option to bring them into my document. Let's uh, save and transcribe now. You see what's happening in the background. It is uploading the recording file to OneDrive and then it will transcribe what is within that file. Now I've got a option here, I can sit and listen to the recording that I've made, so I could play that through. Now in this case, I am transcribing what, I, what I'm saying, I'm, okay, um, or I can jump directly to speaking out some a words position in the recording. These will, let's say. Now in this case, I am transcribing, and I can go back and review what has been said at that point within the recording. So that's great. And if I wanted to take that content into my document, I'll just place the cursor where I want that to appear and we'll use the plus sign to add that to the section in the document. Now, if you needed to change up the, the speaker and we'll do this shortly with the recording, um, I can change who has said that, that piece within the recording. Okay, so let's take a look at a new document and this time we're going to take a recording. Something to keep in mind with this new feature, you have up to 300 transcription minutes per month. Um, so as we open up the transcription feature, you will see just at the bottom there, uh, how many minutes you have left for the month. There isn't an indication yet as to how you might get more minutes if you, if you do use your full 300 allocation. I'm gonna upload some audio, and the audio is an excerpt from an episode that I recorded with uh, Daniel Glenn. So there, you'll be seeing two speakers within this excerpt. Now this is a slightly larger file. It's um, an MP4 file. There is uh, uh, an option to upload WAV files, M4A files, and MP3 files. And just while that is uh, uploading and transcribing in the background, we'll take a look at OneDrive because part of this process, you, you would have seen that it's uploading the file to OneDrive. The new transcription service creates a folder called Transcribe Files. And so you'll see the two recordings that I've made uh, are uploaded there and it is linked through to that experience of listening to the transcription and uh, just verifying what has been said and then bringing it into the document. Let's just check on our transcription here. Right, so that's taken a little while longer. Keep that in mind too, if you do have a longer interview, half an hour or an hour, 
but I can see this being a really useful option to record a discussion, maybe a group discussion, and uh, taking some of that text into a, a document so that you can grab direct quotes and you can start to expand on, on that for your documentation. Shouldn't be too far away now. Upload into OneDrive. And this time, uh, in this excerpt, you'll start to see Speaker 1 and 2. Now I know that Speaker 1 was myself, so I'm going to go through and change that. And I've got that option to change everywhere where the service has detected Speaker 1. So I'm going to choose that too. And if I was to listen through and confirm that uh, the words are, have been transcribed correctly, I've also got an option to change those words at this time. So we'll save that. That's gone through and changed each of the Speaker 1s. And I know that Daniel is Speaker 2. Now what did Daniel say at this point? And now it's a little about, while. Uh, yep. coming to you can see that it about, uh, plays directly from that point, and then I can go through and see what did yeah. Daniel say at, at yeah. the 50, 51 seconds. Um, we, we, we've talked about this on the show. They're going to change the way. I don't expect it to transcribe my name correctly and its spelling, but um, that's fine. Let's just change that to Daniel and change all of that to Daniel. Hey, so we can take in different pieces of, of the transcription file, or we can just add the whole thing to the document. I'm going to do that. And there we have it. We've even got a link through to where that file uh, for the transcription is. So it's a good way of referring back to uh, the, the document and the, the transcription so you can compare the two. So I think that this is a good option for those of us who are recording um, interviews where we're talking with people and we're wanting to take that content and turn it into a document. Um, it's also good potentially for uh, taking meeting minutes, maybe. Um, just see what you can find in terms of use cases. I think that uh, if I'm recording directly into Word Online, um, I'm probably going to continue to use the dictate feature uh, to bring my text in there. But if I was to have a discussion with someone and they're happy for us to record the audio, then I can take that and record directly into Word Online. So thanks for tuning in. If you're keen to see more of these productivity tips around Microsoft 365 and the modern workplace, then you know where to subscribe. And uh, do make sure that you've got that notification bell hit so that you will get a notification of when I post a new video. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.